And we're joined by John McCartan, WQA Training and Program Manager, and Peter Cartwright of Cartwright Consulting, and also a member of the WQA Hall of Fame. And Peter chairs the Convention Technical Education Task Force. And we're talking today about convention education. So welcome, John and Peter. Appreciate you joining us. Thanks, Wes. Thank Great you, to Wes. be here. Hey, hey, John, just maybe a, a quick overview. What can you tell us about education at the convention this year? What can we expect? Sure. Well, Peter's really the expert, but uh, the one thing I really wanted to highlight this year, based on feedback from the last couple of years of uh, sessions, we heard from our members and our attendees that we had great high-level uh, presentations, a lot of expertise in those rooms, but we didn't have anything for their new folks that they were bringing to introduce to the industry. So we've developed an introductory track. Uh, sort of a water one on 101 uh, group of sessions that caps off with uh, I bought a water company now what the top 10 things to know about POU POE water treatment for a new business owner okay so, so I'm very excited about that so this would be for somebody who is new to a company or is new to the industry sounds great Peter what in general um, have you been thinking about as you've been putting these different tracks of education together? We'll get into the details of what they are, but just in general, what uh, what has been going through your mind as you, because you're such a champion of education and uh, all the WQA has to offer, what, uh, what can you tell us? Well, uh, Wes, as John indicated, uh, uh, we're creating a special track um, well, three days worth of for the introductory uh, sessions uh, to give some of the uh, attendees who are not experienced old timers in the field uh, a better understanding of where we're going, what's available, uh, what technologies are important, etc. Um, and then we have also an equal number of presentations that are going to be addressing the what we call the master water specialists, uh, the old timers that want to know what is the latest. And uh, for example, um, as everybody is probably aware, PFAS is a huge contaminant issue now. Uh, some of the uh, experts are predicting that it will be the greatest uh, single water contamination issue for this, uh, at least this decade. Um, and we're having uh, a general session uh, addressing that, as well as at least one or two more papers in the um, MWS area. Uh, then we have a third category besides the introductory and MWS sessions that uh, is titled, for lack of a better term, other, which addresses um, many other other things that we feel will be of interest to the uh, to the industry. Fantastic. And I can already see people just trying to decide how, you know, which which education sessions do I go to because there's so much to to look at and uh, there's so much being offered. So in general, uh, John, can you give us a sense of how many hours or sessions and how many credits that will be available for those who are interested in making sure that they get those CPD credits for their certification? Sure. There's uh, nine hours of uh, technical sessions programmed, um, but of course there's three tracks running at any given time. So you can't attend everything all at once, but uh, if you go through all of it, it work out to about nine hours. And credits? Uh, credits, so that would be 0 0.9 CPDs. Uh, you also get 0.4 just for attending the show. Oh, okay. So again, you're you're kind of like almost halfway toward the amount of CPDs you would need exactly. for recertification. De right? Yeah, depending on your certification title, you're either halfway there or almost all the way there. And uh, just a little plug, Peter is uh, once again running his commercial industrial RO sizing workshop worth another 0.4 CPD. Oh, that's right. Peter, that is a very well attended session. Um, people get, uh, why don't you just give a quick overview? The RO industrial sizing workshop, what's, what's involved there? It's a half day, right? 
Uh, yes, it's four hours. And as John indicated, um, uh, it's a separate activity. It's going to be actually on Monday the 17th, I believe, in the afternoon, uh, April 17th, that is. And um, it's, uh, John kind of indicated we've got uh, uh, Water 101. This is RO 101. Uh, basically, it, it, it gives people who uh, are kind of intimidated by the term membrane technology. It gives them an opportunity to really understand some of the ins and outs, so what is important to know, uh, what data are necessary to uh, obtain uh, in order to uh, design a, a reverse osmosis system. And we do it in a very uh, I think uh, educational format because it's problem solving. It's uh, uh, we think it's a little less than the dry uh, lecture type uh, approach, and it uh, and yet uh, the attendees have a chance to sit around talk among themselves as far as solving uh, as many as uh, eight or nine problems that we that we present, and then. Um, we allow time for uh, the people to try to get the answers, and then we go through the answers uh, in a very non-confrontational way. And uh, uh, I think it's proven pretty successful uh, over the years. We, as you said, Wes, it's always well attended, and uh, uh, so I'm I'm really happy to uh, participate. And uh, there is a separate registration required for that. And also on that same day, on the 17th, uh, so much to offer. We've got WQA Business Boot Camp. That's a day-long symp- uh, day session. And then we've got the new PFAS Symposium being put on uh, as a joint effort by WQRF and WQA. And then the education gets going in full on April 18th. And then April 18, 19, 20, the duration of the convention there will be education every day. So, John, let's get back to these tracks. Now, you've talked about the fact that we've got this uh, kind of a beginner track, and then we've got the the more seasoned uh, professional uh, as well. Can you break them down maybe more specifically in terms of the the types of people who would be attending uh, the the convention? I'm thinking of dealers. I'm thinking of well drillers, that, that kind of thing. Sure, Wes. Um, and also mentioning that uh, PFAS Symposium brings us nicely into, we do have a couple of PFAS-focused uh, sessions uh, under the education. We have a more than a sale ethics in PFAS. That's going to be a big session. We also have a session in our intermediate tract focused solely on PFAS testing and treatment. Um, so PFAS will be well covered at uh, convention. But yes, as you mentioned, uh, so the introductory track includes um, things for those new to the industry, uh, also includes well disinfection and a Wells 101 session for those that don't have any experience on wells. They're not a licensed well driller, but maybe they're looking to make contact with one or they're working on well systems. But we certainly have a lot of education for those that are in the uh, dealer category and a fair amount for commercial industrial as well. We have a session focusing on gray water uh, reuse for residential, commercial, and industrial applications, um, residential anion, resin applications. Um, Peter, is there anything else that you feel like we should highlight? Well, um, uh, addressing the, the wastewater, uh, the gray water, um, uh, also, there will be a, a session on rainwater harvesting, uh, another opportunity for, um, I guess you'd say, non-traditional water sources, and um, the opportunity to, um, to look at other wastewater sources uh, as uh, an approach to obtaining uh, high-quality water. And we certainly have the technologies in this industry capable of doing that. And um, to uh, address some of the other contaminant issues, uh, John pointed out PFAS. Uh, there will be sessions on tannins, silica, uh, colloidal contaminants. So we're trying to hit 
the areas where we think uh, dealers have run into uh, understanding or comprehension comprehension issues with regard to particular contaminants. And for somebody who hasn't attended convention in the past, and they're hearing some of these topics uh, for the first time, perhaps, or they're getting an idea of what's being offered. What can you tell them in terms of why it's important, Peter, to take advantage of education like this that's being offered by WQA? Well, my personal feeling is that um, if I were a, uh, a dealer uh, and I were out calling on a homeowner, uh, residential application, and uh, this homeowner had a specific question that was bothering he or she. Um, a good example, of course, is all the publicity on PFAS. And uh, this person might say, what is this PSA, PFAS issue? Uh, what is it and uh, how can we protect our family? Because I understand that it's a potentially a very, very serious health issue. Uh, well, uh, I think that it's extremely important that this dealer be able to give them an intelligent answer uh, and also be able to say, well, I don't know everything about it, but if you have a particular issue you want me to address, I'll get you the answer and get back to you. And the, to me, the only way we can uh, uh, ethically handle um, water contamination issues, in my opinion, uh, as an industry is to, is to provide education. I think it's absolutely essential. And uh, this is what this convention does as well as the, um, uh, the courses that the uh, uh, WQA has put together and it's really doing a great job with, in my opinion. No doubt, and it sounds exciting, Peter. It sounds, and John, uh, obviously, uh, in fact, uh, so much that it might be overwhelming uh, to somebody, again, maybe who hasn't attended or who's only attended once. And uh, it, it, one of the thoughts that occurred to me as you were saying, I think, John, as you were describing the fact that there are so many hours, it's what a what a great opportunity to bring somebody along with you from your your staff and have somebody else attend some of the other meetings and sessions while you're attending some of the sessions that interest you and, and, and then combine your notes later on. I think that might be a good strategy uh, for some folks to take. Ab and Absolutely. Divide and conquer. So, John, maybe step us through how we can see uh, on the WQA convention website where these tracks and sessions are set uh, right now on the website and what you can do to kind of almost pick and choose right now what you'd like to attend. Sure. If you go to the WQA convention website, uh, you can click on full schedule right there, and it uh, will lay the schedule out in a couple of different ways for you. If you'd like, you can browse just the accredited sessions if you are interested in getting CPD credits for recertification, or you can just browse by speaker or by topic or by track. Um, and then you can just look at the full schedule day by day and see all the sessions laid out for you. Any final thoughts, John or Peter, as we uh, wind down the conversation? There, there is one other session I wanted to highlight, uh, simply because working on WQA's training programs, I'm oftentimes the first point of contact for someone that's new to the industry looking to get trained in water treatment. And one of the big topics that people are always looking for and asking me about is just basics of water testing. And we've got a great session. It's a two-hour uh, session just on water testing from Marianne Metzger and Tate Burkhart. Uh, should be a great session. Well, I'm always amazed when I hear these sessions that you have put together. It's just, there's a lot of work behind it, and we have a lot of experts in the field who will be joining us in Las Vegas. But, John, there's also another track. I don't think we've mentioned it, but we should, and that is the whole business education track as well, right? Absolutely. So a completely separate committee uh, lays out that schedule, runs alongside the technical education. We've got uh, business focus sessions on creating a sales team, uh, some other great uh, sessions on preparing for the next marketing revolution, 
um, all sorts of great topics that kind of expand. Uh, if you've attended the business boot camp before, it keeps it going throughout the convention. Right. And as I mentioned before, the WQA business boot camp takes place on April 17th, the same day as the RO sizing workshop. So get on over to wqa.org slash convention, and you can start to, uh, again, uh, take a look at those sessions and decide which ones which of the many you will want to attend. All right, John, Peter, thanks so much for joining us. That was Peter Cartwright of Cartwright Consulting, John McCartan, WQA's Training and Program Manager. Thanks to you both. Thank you very much, Wes. Thank you, Wes.